to stop you doing that. Why? You might be terrorists, and you're in our car park as well. We're just filming for a couple of I think one thing I find really quite amazing is just how fast the changes may come upon us. Because our current growth rate, it may seem small, just 2.3% per year, thereabouts, for our rate of energy consumption growth. But that translates to a doubling in our consumption rate in just 30 years. Now that's incredible. Because if you think that it took us 10,000 years to get to our current consumption rate, and that we will double this again in just 30 years, then we are thinking about a change in civilization that in our very lifetimes will reproduce everything that has happened over centuries, millennia. And that brings to us, I think, a very basic question. How will this happen? Can we sustain a doubling of our daily energy consumption rate and all the raw materials that go along with it? Do those raw materials exist? Perhaps they do. Perhaps we can figure out ways to extract sufficient resources from our environment to maintain a doubling of our civilization in the next 30 years, and then in the next 30 years beyond that, which would be four times as large. Perhaps we can do that. Perhaps the resources are out there. Or perhaps they aren't. And if they aren't, then I think naturally we would think that the, all the activities of civilization will somehow have to slow. And then we can start thinking about, well, what does that mean for civilization to start slowing? What does it mean for the economy if we can no longer sustain all the activities with the energy that's required? Or if we can sustain the activities by uncovering sufficient resources, what does it mean to have all the accumulating waste products that are produced by the consumption accumulating in, for example, our atmosphere in the form of carbon dioxide. A planet that is five degrees Celsius warmer than it is today will not be the same place. And I think we have to think seriously about what that implies for the ability of civilization to continue to grow somehow something we'll have to give.